Welcome back. And today I'm gonna to show you guys the simplest way to light a bottle for your product videos. Make your shot go from this to this. And really all we need is two lights to do this. And the first way that we're gonna do this is everything is a little bit chaotic in the shot that you can see right now. So we're gonna first bring in our background and you don't even actually have to have a background for this, but then that's gonna involve more than two lights. So I'm gonna simplify this as much as I can for you guys. The first thing we're gonna use for our background is this, and this is black duvetine and I get it from Savage. Uh, there's a bunch of different types that you can get, but all we're gonna do is roll this down and drop it. Boom, boom, just like that. And there is our background. So let's look at this in camera. Looking in camera, you can see it's a very dark image, but that is okay, because that's what we want. Lighting products or lighting anything, filmmaking is all about controlling your light. So bringing this black background in it is really going to allow our bottle to pop and just focus on the product itself. I did miscalculate, so I do need to slide this over just a tad smidge, so we're gonna do that. But again, I recommend using Duvetine or some kind of black background. Black paper works, but it is reflective. This duvetine stuff is absorbing light. So when, you're, when your lights are all kind of spreading around, it's still super black and it picks up very black in the camera so that you're gonna get your purest black that you want. Now, we're gonna first do our first light. And this is our most important light. This is our key light and our main light that's actually gonna be lighting the entire bottle. And stay with me because it's not gonna look like a lot at first, but then once you actually see this all come together, you're gonna be like, holy moly. So the trick that we're gonna do is I always use double diffusion for this. And let me change the camera angle, it's just me today. So I'm gonna show you guys in a second. So our key lights can be coming from that side. I always typically have it on the left because you're reading like a book. So you're gonna have your strongest point on your left and then you're going to your fill side on the right, kind of like a book you read from left to right, and you're gonna always be attracted to your brightest side first. So we're gonna bring this in. This is actually by Savage as well. This is Transloom paper, and this is great. It gives such a soft image. This is not our light itself, but it's a great way to double diffuse your product. And I already know that I'm gonna need it, so I'm gonna bring it in as close as I can to the product. And I typically always have my C-stand on the back side because that allows me to angle this in. Because when looking with a camera, you're gonna want this to get as close as possible to the product itself. It's gonna create a beautiful, soft highlight, especially on glass. But the problem is, if you put the C-stand on that side, then you're not gonna be able to angle it closer. You want this part farther away, otherwise it'll show up in the shot. But luckily, since we're working with black, you can just mask everything out that is not in it. But we're gonna get this nice and tight, I don't know what it looks like in camera right now. You can usually have, you know, like a monitor if you want to, but that's gonna be pretty good for right now. We can always do minor adjustments later. And then I'm gonna bring in my light. This is going, I don't know if you can see me, but this is going to be our main light. And the way that I'm gonna light it is I always bring it towards the back like this. And instead of pointing it straight at, I'm gonna angle it towards the camera like so. And what it's doing is you're getting your hottest spot here and then it's slowly rolling off like a gradient, which is good because you want your edge of your bottle to be bright and then you want it to be nice and smooth going across. Now, I don't know what this looks like in camera yet, so we're gonna look at it first. So now that's looking pretty good and I like the angle with it. I'm gonna play with it more, but I'm probably gonna drop this back a little bit more, bring it a little bit closer so it really wraps around the bottle. And that is only one part of this. The next part is to get our fill side in. And we're actually not gonna use a light for our fill side. We're just gonna take the same material and put it in here and almost make a nice, comfortable sandwich for our bottle. And again, I know it seems weird, but this is actually gonna look really great. All right, let's slide this bad boy in. She's a little heavier than the other one, but that's okay. Because what we're gonna do is make sure that we're secure. I'm gonna bring this nice and close. And now, make sure that doesn't fall off. Swing her in like so. And we're gonna lower her because that is not actually hitting what we want it to hit. Beautiful, just like that. And right now, this is looking really good. I actually haven't looked at it yet, but I can tell bringing this in. Now look at the difference between before and after. 
So now I'm gonna show you guys my biggest trick and secret in filmmaking, especially for bottles, especially for whiskey bottles or any bottle where you wanna illuminate the product inside. And it's literally just taking some more of this diffusion paper and cutting it out to the shape of the bottle. And all I do is put it on the table, the bottle trace it out with a piece of pencil, a piece of pencil <laughs> and some scissors. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be enough to cover the shape. And what we're gonna do is take that shape and we're gonna take a C stand and actually hang it behind the bottle. In my previous tutorials, I've taught you guys, oh, just tape it to the back of the bottle. But I've actually come up with a better way of doing this is just hanging it in the back of the bottle with another C stand. And what that allows us to do is it allows me to spin the bottle without showing this and keeping that same beautiful glow. So you can have a lot more dynamic movement with your product. So let's do that now. Before I move it into place, I just wanna show you guys what I'm doing here. So here's that piece of paper that I told you guys to cut out of the Savage Translume. And I got a barbecue skewer that I painted black cause why not just make it easier on my life. And I just have it attached to a C-stand knuckle like so. And then I just pinched it in between here, right? And then we're gonna put on the C-stand and then all we have to do is bring it in. Ready? And here I come. I'm gonna set this up nice and beautifully. We're gonna get this as close as we can to our product. And obviously this isn't straight on, but that's okay. That's the whole point of this. And we're just gonna drop that down like that. I don't know if you guys can see me, I apologize. Again, I'm just filming this by myself. It's nothing fancy, but this will show you guys how to light your bottles. Now I'm using the Forza 60C by Nanlite. This is perfect. It's small, it's tiny. I have it on a C stand, but you can literally probably hold it up with a twig if you wanted to, because this thing is miniature. And all we're gonna do is flip it and point at the back of the bottle, make sure that we're hitting the paper. And I'm just gonna turn it on right here. And boom, like that. I got it at 11% at 4,400 on my white balance or CCT. And that's giving it a little bit more of a warmer look, which is perfect. Cause now as you see it in camera, this is beautiful. Now let's set up our camera next and I can talk about my settings there. Then we're gonna turn off all the lights and get our shot. Now that we have our lighting dialed in, we're gonna fix our bottle and how we have it positioned. And we're gonna add a little bit of movement to it. And the way that we're gonna do that is with my Edelchrone Head One. You can use a cheap turntable. You can look at my product, my product video, product list guide. I don't know what I called it, but nevertheless, I do have a bunch of different products that you guys can use. And I'll also list everything down below. This is a little bit more of an expensive option, but it is controlled by my phone, which when I'm solo shooting is awesome. So we have our product right here. It's this Raleigh uh, whiskey, and we're just gonna bring it down. Beautiful bottle, by the way, very, very beautiful bourbon. And we're gonna place this right here. And then what I'm gonna do, we're gonna have to put a little bit of height on it. This is gonna allow us to spin, but I'm just gonna grab this. We're gonna use this like this. And then we're gonna grab this like so, and try to make sure everything is center because we're gonna be focusing on our bottle like that. And then let me stand up, but we're gonna wanna place our bottle. And obviously our, all of our height is all messed up now, but that's okay because that's all what product filmmaking is about is positioning, 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 repositioning, making sure everything is stable, making sure that's relatively center, and then we're gonna reposition this. All right, with some minor tweaking and since I'm kind of dumb sometimes, I realized that it was a lot easier. I remember that I actually put the nan light below and shoot it up because it's lower, and then we're not getting any flares in it, and it can be directly in the center. So I've changed that, and then just did some minor adjusting on the diffusion paper, but we're ready to rock it, so let's hop on over to the camera. I'm using my R5 with my RF 100 millimeter macro, best lens for product filmmaking, hands down. And I'm just gonna do a stationary shot at first, and then I'm gonna turn this slider around and get a sliding shot. But I'm gonna turn off the rest of these lights. And you guys, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these shots, but that's it for making beautiful product videos just like this. Oh yeah, that's probably the point where I'm supposed to say, please like, share, subscribe. It's really important, this helps grow my channel. I really appreciate everybody that's been supporting me since day one, or even just joining and enjoying what I do. I do a lot of different things, so, you know, if you wanna come join, cool.